I didn't get a chance to go over some of the highlights of the syllabus uh, today. We ran out of time uh, in class and I wanted to go over a few of them. I hear I've got a picture of myself that'll be the first and last picture of myself I expect to put in a screencast, but there it is. All right, the first thing in the syllabus that I wanted to describe was the curation assignment. This doesn't come up until the very end of the course. Uh, but in that last module, I'm not giving you an article to read with my own questions uh, about that article to link it to course material. But uh, instead, I'm, I'm going to have you focus on an issue. That last module will just be talking about economic policy and mostly about the environment, but about other areas too. So I want you each to find a topic and then I, instead of writing a paper on it, I want you to do something that's a little bit like writing a, a paper, but I want you to do it in a format that, that curates content that's out there. So the initial post uh, would, would be a description of the topic and maybe find a news article that isn't too skewed one way or the other, uh, and, and that would be the first portion. I, I envision these going up on Google Docs, just that you can share with, um, you can actually publish them to the web that, so that anybody that has the link um, has them all. I'll give you some more detailed instruction. There are curation tools, apps that just help you present, basically make up a little website that does this kind of assignment. Um, I can point to some of those, but they're not required in any way. Simple Google Doc is all I'm looking for. Anyway, the next po point, I want you to just uh, write up briefly the economic analysis uh, that would be relevant and, and maybe um, link to the portion of the textbook that contains that exam that analysis or, or maybe some other source if you can find one. That can be your uh, paragraph and maybe a, a graph that you draw up and take a scan of it and, and pop it into the into the assignment. Um, and then what I want you to do is to find some material on the web. I assume it's going to be on the web. Um, find some material that consists of uh, proponents of at least different views. You might not find a you know, complete, op completely opposite views. If you do, that's great. But um, find some some articles where editorial writers or bloggers are, are proposing uh, opposing viewpoints. And, and then I, I want your commentary to introduce each post. You know, so-and-so is writing in the you know, Honolulu Times. I don't know the name of the Honolulu paper. But uh, that, you know, the, this is a good idea. And um, you might even summarize because dot, 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 dot. You know, on the other hand, this uh, editorialist from... You're blogging on the site, you know, Hawaii Forever uh, takes issue with that view and presents this, that, and then link to that that article. And then finally, at the end of it all, um, I want your take. I, I want complete sentences and reasonably coherent um, points, but it's not as formal of, as writing. It's not as formal writing as, say, a, a paper would be. So, uh, and, and there I would say, in my view, you, you would say, in my view, you know, Mr. Ho has the better uh, perspective on the issue. Uh, the, the economic analysis suggests this. He brings in these interesting data that support his assertion that this is the correct way to look at this problem, da-da-da-da-da. You know, just, just a few sentences, a paragraph, where, where you sum up the opposing views in the economic analysis and take a stand on the issue. And hopefully it'll be fun. I wanted to just point you in the last minute of this screencast. There's a neat article uh, from the Learning Scientist about uh, content curation and as tips for teachers. It's mainly, ge mainly geared for teachers, but I, it's, I think students can get an idea of what the endeavor is about. Uh, and then finally, um, I didn't know about them, but there are tools to help you go out and 
find content that's reasonably credible. Let me point you to an article. Um, this, uh, oh, my, my screencast controller is obscuring the uh, website, but at the, at the top of the picture that you're seeing, there's the, the website where this article is. Just go to that website and search the article title on there's a ton of information for you. I again, I'm not expecting a super slick uh, content curation, you know, presentation. I'm just thinking of, you know, scrolling up and down a Google Doc. But if if you want to make it fancy, that's that's all the more power to you. I um, I am seeing this assignment as a little bit easier to grade 54 papers uh, compared to say 54. Um, uh, carefully written papers. I, I'm, I'm thinking I can scan and see the links, see brief paragraphs, see the, your logical flow. Um, I'll put up a rubric and a little more uh, instruction as the date nears. This doesn't happen until November or so, so we've got some time.